Well, what a beautiful morning, mud lovers. This is the benefit of getting up really early for those early tides, because you can see the beautiful morning sunrise on the Thames. It only mean one thing, mud laughing. Let's go down there and have some luck in the muck. Try detecting this, look how much iron is here guys. No way you can detect this. So what we've got here is a bit of exposed foreshore. That's where they put the, uh, the old street level or some sort of, maybe some mooring or whatever. And under this you've got things eroding out. And what I've discovered here, what I've discovered there, if you can see it, is a pipe. So I'll see if I can uh, extract it. I imagine it's broken because all this stuff is so heavily um, compacted that uh, a lot of it doesn't really survive. So I'll try and slowly winkle it out and see if there's anything there. I think it's a pipe, pretty sure it is. Give it a little wiggle. Yeah, it's moving. It looks like it might have something written on it there, look. Oh, that's a nice pipe. There's something on the side of that. Oh, that's unusual. How weird. got a nice um, leaf design on the uh, seam and there's something on the other side as well I'll have to go and uh, take it to the water's edge and give it a proper clean up so come with me well guys you're seeing this at the same time as me so I'm really excited to find these pictorial pipes because they don't come up very often well they do for certain people <laughs> Shout out to Nick. She's in a good place for the pipes, as we all know. She's doing well. So I get kind of excited when I find a pipe because, um, yeah, these days they're quite, they're getting less common up, up in the centre of town, which is where I am today. But this is a nice one. And I'm sort of holding off the anticipation here of looking at it because I've got a feeling it's going to be a quite interesting pipe. <clears throat> and what have we got? Wow, look, there's a... There's like a boat scene on it, I think, a boat. There's loads of information on there. There's like a boat on that side. And, well, it looks like um, some wheels, maybe. It looks like a scooter. Obviously it's not, but still, quite a cool little pipe. Shame it's not like got the whole thing on it, but still it's got the best bit, and that is a really cool side. It's like a boat in um and it's got some writing on. Never usually see writing on these things, usually it's just a picture, um, you know, various designs, but this is this is neat. Com it says, C O W M. And then a C beneath that, so yeah, I think I what I'll do is I'll ping a nick a, ping a picture to Nick and see if she can help ID it, but but that's that's beautiful, I'm really happy with that.
Hello, ducky. You don't very healthy, do you? Cool, how close is this bird, eh? Wow. Hello, mate. Oh, he wants some food. Bye. One of my favourite finds to find isn't necessarily that old, but it's quite interesting for me. It's um, lead type, and we find quite a bit of it, but I've just found quite a few bits in this one particular spot. And uh, come and have a look, I've just found one more. So I might show you all the letters I've got today. Uh, they're quite interesting, and um, yeah, obviously they were used in printing presses and the like, so I really like this sort of thing. So here we go, here's, here's one in situ. It's there. And isn't that lovely that it's got a little, um, that would have been an L maybe backwards. They're really cool, really interesting and obviously we use to uh, print books or newspapers. And no one knows really what they're doing here, maybe the printer's decided to lob a load over the side of the Thames. There is an interesting story about the Dove typeface, there was a lost typeface that someone, or a couple of brothers I think it was, threw them over a bridge. but. Maybe I'll tell you a bit, a bit more about the typeface of dove type if, um, if it hasn't already been done. Alright guys, a bit of spot to find for you. Can you see it yet? I'll zoom in for you. And it's just there, look. Little lead token. So post medieval, 18th century, with an E on it. So that would have been used in the taverns or any local establishments. Was it a T? I'm not sure. T E. Yeah, it's a pretty cute find. Richard's had one up earlier as well, so we'll have a look at that later. This is much nicer than that though. Good one coming up, guys. Another cool little find. Here's half a Georgian wood curler. You saw me find a full one of these a few weeks back uh, when I was at Rich the other time so check out that video if you want to see a full one but um, yeah these would have graced the Georgian's wig to get the curls nice and uh, curly I suppose and that might be a little maker's mark at the bottom there nice one spot the find it's not a hard one this one but look at that beautiful wagon wheel eroding out. wonder what that would have uh, been trawling in its day. Beautiful. I think someone might have tried to already excavate that because it's already sticking up a little bit, that little pipe bowl. Oh yeah, but it's broken so I'll leave that for someone else. As you may have seen me pick up these before, but um, the last one I found on video I think is really dark and really green, but this is a good example of a Tudor brick. I think these were imported in around 15th century, maybe even earlier than Tudor actually. I've heard Tudor would have been 1560s, there or thereabouts, and these were imported a little bit earlier. I'm just sitting there on the foreshore, as you saw it there. So I'll definitely take that one home. I've just had up a little coin and I'm hoping beyond hope it could be a little Roman. It'd be awesome if it is. It's got something on there, could be could be anything, so I'm reluctant to clean it too much because it could be quite an old coin, but I'll um clean it properly when I get home and show you guys what this is. There we go, look. I don't know if that's upside down or the right way around. The Richard just had a signal as well. Oh man, I think that's I think that's possibly a Roman. It's got this right sort of thickness and crudeness. Huh. 
<laughs> oh no, it was a bottle top. Man, you get so many signals down here, we have to just go through all the rubbish to get the good stuff. And there's a lot of rubbish down here, so, um, you know, you just got to keep fighting through all the rubbish and then eventually you'll find something good. Possibly a Roman. Is this the first time that this coin has seen the light of day since it was dropped 2,000 odd years ago? I wonder what it saw back then on these same shores, on these same riverbeds. I wonder what it's traded for, who dropped it, who earned it, was it their wages? We never know, but that's what we love about the hobby, bringing stuff up to light and then learning about it and imagining what had happened in the past. Sometimes when I come down to Thames it's really peaceful and it's kind of like uh, having a bit of time out because you know, you're on your own and you get to kind of chill out and do your own thing. But in certain places, look, you do feel like a bit, like you're in a goldfish bowl. There's loads of people just want to see what you're up to. Which is cool, I suppose, but you get a bit of put in from time to time and they shout things out. But in the past, when um, friends of mine have been detecting or mudlarking nearby pubs, they've had um, bottles and um, glasses thrown at them and other people have had people spit on them from over bridges so we do have to put up with quite a lot I mean 99% of the people are nice and they'll say hi and, or what you found or what you had up and so we'll answer them if we're in the mood <laughs> uh, to talk but um, yeah other times you do get a lot of people just staring at you oh you know they're in London they're looking at the sites and we're probably you know strange to them what we're doing so uh, yeah just a little account there of real life mudlarking because like I said before, it's nice to come down here and chill out and do your own thing. But sometimes you do feel a little bit self-conscious when you've got people just staring at you. But part and parcel, I suppose. You come to the busy spots and that's what you've got to, got to expect. So guys, me and Richard finished for the day and this is what we found. So start with my bits. I've got about £1.53. Well, it is exactly £1.53 in, in uh, coins modern coins and a euro there or whatever it is um, somewhere um, musket balls and a little bullet shrapnel part of a ring children with curler a couple of buttons there little little tiny buckle and on the theme of buckles I've got um, a couple of Georgian buckles there that's quite a nice one it's decorated part of Really like that, unusual design. Now, I'm thinking it's just a piece of copper, um, sorry, a piece of brass in a, in a lump of crud. Because uh, we get a lot of these uh, bits of brass that come out so well. Never know, it could be gold, but I doubt it. But I'll bust that open later and see what it, uh, see if it is. Do a little bit of a gold test on that. Um, lead token, which you saw at the end there pretty sure it's a Roman coin so I'm really happy about that right at the end there last knockings I got that so I'll, again I'll clean it up and uh, show you pictures of that and my beloved lead type which I do like each one of these has got an individual letter uh, on the end of it um, and some of them are really quite unique and quite beautiful uh, I think there was a big L somewhere as well and it's this one yeah so they go from the um, quite straightforward letters to quite beautiful and that was just a selection of today so I'll put that with my, uh, my other bits and I'll, I'll line these up and see what letters we get later <clears throat> and on to Rich what have you got look at all those coins so I bet you were coin so unfortunately sorry mate yeah you must have about two quid two quid yeah damn I mean, it I thought that was a two pound two euros two euros so yeah. that's, that's another pound fifty yeah this X yeah, that's maybe unusual. A buckle or something, maybe. Yeah. It's got, it's got two bits of two points at the back where it's been attached to something. Yeah. Don't know what that is. Who knows? Looks on the modern side, but yeah, not sure on that one. We'll never know, probably. <clears throat> uh, this folded over piece of lead, which is probably going to be a token, maybe. Not sure. Yeah, that'll okay. go unfolding that and um, show us some pics. I've seen them folded in half before, but never in a quarter. Why would they fold them like that? 
it's either it's either a token that's been folded or maybe it's a washer that they've taken off something and just were bored and just folded up like you just fold yeah. up a chewing gum wrapper or something you know yeah uh, we've got a Victorian coin 1862 nice one yeah that's a Vicky young head yeah. awesome and I think the star find is this beautiful Victorian token and it reads on the other side it starts with um, oh no actually it starts on the other side it starts on this side and it reads Her Majesty Queen Victoria and there's a picture of Queen Victoria a little bit worn there but um, on the other side entertains at Guildhall in London 9th of November 1837 and at the top left there is the um, the logo for the City of London. So that's probably the City of London shield from Guildhall. So yeah, then they heard it. Heard it. <laughs> they passed by there saying it's so cool, and it is really cool. It's a really nice find. And also on par with that, which I really love as well, sorry to interrupt you Rich, but I just right. had to pick it up here. It's got an S, this is a little lead token with an S and what well, it could be an I, if it is an I, it's Sai and it belongs to me. <laughs> um, or it's a little cross or something, an S. And on the other side, look, it's got a beautiful heart with an arrow going through it. And it's stunning, really beautiful token that. And it might actually be from the reign of um, Charles, because the, uh, the motif with the heart with the arrow going for it is from that era so that that could be 17th century this this token oh, i love it so yeah oh a good day and uh i think that's i think i think i've covered everything <laughs> just don't put my jacket on now about taking it taking everything off first <laughs> see you next time guys yeah <laughs> 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 and I also forgot to show you the uh, pipe bowl that I found earlier which has got a ship on one side and it looks like some sort of industrial scene on the other whether it's uh, turning wheels that sort of thing um, nice leaf pattern on there so I'll see if I can find a bit more about that, that those words must help give us a clue commerce maybe commerce I don't know it's got some other letters there, I think, so... Yeah, really happy with that. Don't find many pipe bowls these days. Well, not the ones that have got pictorials on anyway. A lot of them are plain. But these ones are much better, in my personal opinion. Far more interesting. <laughs>